Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2. When we left off, we had spent an absolute fortune unlocking a new area. And today I would like to share my thought process on why it was that specific region. As uh, we did have a choice of at least two anyway. We had Southern Ontario and Quebec, I believe was the other one. Uh, the connection bonus certainly wasn't an influence as uh, that appeared after we purchased. We certainly can't purchase any of the southern regions, but uh, we did have Quebec up here, which we could have chosen as well. And oddly, is the cheaper of the two. We spent, what, three quarters of a million. Yeah, let's head over to our tasks. This is the reasoning behind my choice. By 1834, we need to connect three rural businesses producing grain to our network. Both of these regions allow us to do that. What was key for me in my choice was the transport 960 passengers from Syracuse. The final one, the Constructor University in Albany, didn't have any impact on my choice. We've got the quickest connection. It just happens that it's also given us the connection bonus. What we can do now is take a, a line into Syracuse there and help them transport some passengers away from the city, which is going to count towards our task. And while we're doing that, we can also set up Parker Farm into Ottawa. That will give us a quick tick over uh, with our first of the three new tasks and uh, it will just accelerate the passengers from Syracuse. So then, should we get Ottawa hooked up and then we can grab this 261 and a half thousand coins? What are we doing, Parker Farm? We're at level one. It, it's kind of tempting. Lots of beer production around here. If you do have breweries nearby, grain's not a bad one to pick, is it? It's a little bit like uh, the cows or uh, for meat yeah let's grab that it's a hundred and seven thousand but without or well, nearly a hundred and eight thousand but with our bonuses and our eloquence it's uh, dropped it right down to seventy thousand a bargain we do have wood near here as well which is uh nicely balanced isn't it we've got some wood across to the east and across to the west as well then so we could bring that into play let's bring up the uh, contours it's fairly flat around there isn't it and we could follow this line all the way down to Syracuse there now we might want to face it inwards providing it stays white we can sit it in there it's only when you go out too far that you uh, can no longer build there get into that green circle or green circles as the city expands. Uh, you can put more and more in there. Right, let's build us a lovely line. We'll uh, draw a rough guide to how we want our line to sit. And then we'll adjust it as necessary. Uh, we just want to make sure we don't slow too much at uh, the station there. So let's get a, a bit more of a curve on you. We also want to... Uh, keep our grades to a minimum so we'll bring that down which also gives us a, a smaller bridge and i believe what i've done there is given us a zero percent grade uh, line between ottawa and syracuse that's kind of lovely isn't it we do have a bit of a slowdown and it's possibly this curve so if we can take that out just slightly there we go just a little wiggle and we're good i don't know why that's changed this one was that not on maxed maybe we'll adjust this one a little bit and that should do the same thing there we go nice and easy zero percent all the way we will need three hundred and fifty nine thousand now we do have a bond we can take out but i'd rather leave that just for now the larger we can get our company the uh, the higher the company value the more we can take out when it does come to taking out that bond we're nearly there aren't we it's uh 355 let's get up our track building yep yeah, 359 500 built 
Uh, how much are we going to need for our double tracking? Probably a little more expensive than it should be, as we also need to build as a second platform at Ottawa there. We're going to get this back as well, though. 261,000. We still have 195 days left. 194. They're going down, guys. They're going down. We have the funds. Let's get you built. And let's set you all up. We'll get us a gridiron in Ottawa. And a uh, two-track gridiron at Syracuse's northern. Yeah, northern platforms. We'll also need us uh, our supply towers here. They're 30,000. There we go. We've got it. Fortunately, when it comes around to putting our first train on, they're quite... Uh, quite affordable aren't they right now we can get our train underway and since just take a look at our tasks it's from Syracuse I guess we start our line at Syracuse and then head to Ottawa that way we can oh what haven't you done grand yes can't do that just yet we need to set the direction of travel there we go now we can go back in and start at Syracuse, head to Ottawa there. We're going to have this as an express train. As I'm I'm getting to the point in my playthrough where I'd like to separate uh, passengers and mail from freight going forward where possible. Let's get us a John Bull on there, our fastest train. Our fastest and most powerful train until the Dunham, that is. There we go. Are you going to pick up some passengers for us and uh, take them over? Yeah, we've got uh, two cars there. There's only seven people on that one. But that's 47 extra people we wouldn't have taken uh, if we never hooked that up. Right, so our next one, which will be uh, instantly completed when we hook up this grain farm. Or our grain farm now, isn't it? We own Parker Farm. Yeah, when we hook that up into our main line here, that will immediately complete that task. We want to sit on this green, as that's where our track is. Doesn't really matter on the orientation, but that makes a bit of sense going that way. Cheap as chips, aren't they? Single platforms. I certainly don't feel like a second platform will be necessary. Task complete. Is that what we're going to do? Build. Great. Yes. By the way. I have decided to run for the Democrats in this election. I believe that I can best represent our interests as a candidate for this party. Good for you. Why do I need to know that? Oh, uh, I would just like to make a railway empire. All right, so we've got our little connection here. We may as well set up a freight line. I know I said I would uh, keep our freight separated. However, the extra track and platforms won't be required just yet. Uh, when it comes round to it, we can just move this line over to uh, a separate freight line, which no doubt we'll have running down this side. Might make sense anyway. Right, let's uh, not forget direction of travel this time. <laughs> yeah, I do that a little bit, don't I? And can we fit our uh, supply tower on? Nope, because they are 30,000, so we need a bit of money. We're going to remove the uh, contour lines there now we can stick you on and then we'll get as a little freight service running into ottawa let's get you set up hit play into ottawa please we would like you to be freight only i uh, would also like you to wait until full saves us quite a bit of money and uh, make sure the train is profitable Get your John Bull on there. Away you go. Are you going to fill up? We'll need a uh, maintenance building, won't we? Either at Parker's Rest or Ottawa. Ottawa may make more sense. Going forward, that is. We have uh, a lot of grain there for Ottawa. Lovely. Now, we also got a connection bonus. There we go. Lovely. That's a lot of extra spending money. We might be able to get something else hooked up. We can certainly afford to get a maintenance depot plonked on there. Right, should we check around the map before we move forward? Make sure we haven't got any other cities that have grown that may need buildings, such as 
Bangor. Bangor has grown. And my plan for Bangor was planks. Planks because these guys have access to wood, both Boston and Bangor, whereas it, it's a little scarce up this end with Quebec and Montreal. How much do we need for this? It is 440,000. This will come into play a little more once we can uh, once we can purchase Quebec. The region of Quebec, that is. Well, you, we're not purchasing it, are we? No, we're, we're paying for the rights to build there. So, yeah, once we can, I, I guess we're lining someone's pocket somewhere. Maybe that guy running for uh, whatever he's running for. What do we need? 440,000. That's enough. Make sure we reselect uh, sawmills. Get you plonked in. I guess we could have you out there. I think it kind of snaps the roads at times, doesn't it? Yeah, when you go around. We'll have you out that end. When you plonk down an industry, it gives you a little bit more building room. And I do believe there's no limit to the amount of stations you can fit in, barring how much of a mess it is. We are still waiting for... What do we need? Yeah, we need to unlock the uh, mineral oil which we need another star for that although we're not far off it'll be uh, when it ticks over to a new month it's currently may 17th 1831 we have uh, a nice little connection going there what do you want ottawa what are you short on we could set up a freight line from albany might be a little excessive but uh, doable that's for sure we're not getting any meat, any corn. Corn's going to be a tricky one, I believe. Or is it? Do we have corn over here? Well, it's over that end. Which is a little unfortunate. Although, Otto is kind of sitting in the middle, isn't it? It's leaning closer to here. There is certainly a way we could make that work. We might need a, a bit of a six-track main line here. If we want to keep our, our lines flowing. Our task for... Uh, Transporting passengers away from Syracuse is almost there. The the university, we're going to be a little ways off that. We are at 94.8% though, and uh, so that's going to be going up rather rapidly. How about Buffalo and Syracuse, since we are going to be working with these three for a bit longer? Uh, what are you missing? Wood's going to be a tricky one. We're going to just have to wait until we can uh, flood a a mainline freight line and uh, possibly pull it in from from here and next to ottawa there we should maybe think about buffalo having a a warehouse to start storing some wood and other goodies that these guys can't get uh, conversely bringing meat in this way yeah, I like that idea. Sugar. Oh, I just saw that. Look. Very good. A few years ago, people in Albany were still skeptical about the railroad. Your success will silence even the hardiest naysayers. Our genius rail planning will silence them, won't it? Eventually, maybe. Yeah, so we have completed two more tasks. We still have Albany to do, which is what we're about to work on. And uh, as I was briefly mentioning... We are lacking sugar over at uh, Syracuse. I would imagine it's the same situation for Buffalo. Uh, sugar's, yeah, we don't really deliver it, do we? There's no way to get it. Well, I mean, there's plenty of ways to get it, but we don't currently do it. And looking, what's all this? Uh, dairy farm near Quebec City. Well, we'll be heading that way eventually. And at only 90000 that's going to cost us next to nothing, isn't it? Less than a station. Oh, about the same price as a single platform station. Marvellous. We have two research points to spend, or 200 innovation points. And that's going to reduce the uh, maintenance requirements of our locos further. Which is good, because we have our personnel set up, don't we? Where we've reduced them by 50%. Our money has kept going up, so we're, we're in a good place to do a little bit of a build and possibly upgrade some industries to make sure that Albany grows. 
Let's get you. Where's your warehouse? Oh, we got a space. I was going to shuffle some stuff around. Including meat. We still have meat up here. No, no. I know how to deal with that. That's because uh, we don't have enough trains, I believe, running the freight from Boston here. But we could quite easily have sugar, couldn't we? I wouldn't mind trying to grab this sugar as well if it's cheap enough. It's currently on a downward trend. It should hit zero, perhaps. How much is it currently? 304,000. Will you go down another one? It's always a bit of a gamble waiting for these, but this should be the trend as I've not changed our train setup. So providing there's no train incoming, which I cannot see one. No, we've got uh, two trains running between Albany and Boston and we're full on our sugar here. So sh this should drop and make this a little bit cheaper, which would be lovely providing no train picks up. Is that the one? Howard train that? Yeah, this one. I'm hoping you don't get that. Oh, you're filling up. How did you go up? That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, I'm sad right now. That went up 50k. I don't believe that at all. Okay, that doesn't work how I thought it would work. Yeah, there's no one there. You've, you're you not doing anything. You're at 100%. Unless we, of course... Yeah, unless you sent some sugar over to New York. I forgot about New York. Should we uh, double check to see if that was the case? Let's choose sugar. Yeah, that's you are going to go there, aren't you? I believe yeah you should currently we're only sending it to albany and we are also sending it to boston all right then well i gambled and it didn't pay off did it so i'm just gonna buy it <laughs> i'm just gonna buy it without eloquence it doesn't matter too much we wasted 50k possibly but we only paid 229,000. that is a bargain the reason I'd like to do that is um, if we click on the the trains that are running through here, they are full to the brim in both directions. Although this guy did just pick up uh, an awful lot of sugar. But uh, yeah, if we've got to start picking up more and more sugar, and we're also going to take uh, meat and planks and stuff and everything that we're bringing from Albany as well, Two trains are not going to cut it currently. So let's edit the line. We're going to start. Well, should we go with four? I like the idea of four. 37,240 coins. I'm going to also stick as a... Am I? Yeah, I'm going to stick as a maintenance building on here. Because we do stop there even if we're full. So should they need to top up now at Howard Train Station with their maintenance? It's going to reduce the, the times there repairing in both Boston and Albany and therefore free up the station a little bit with this line. Especially now we've got four trains running. We will be expanding our train station at Albany, especially once we uh, quad track this. Uh, probably a six track main line eventually. Okay, what would I like to do now? Oh yes, I'd like to check on uh, the possibility to build us some more libraries. I think we have one in Boston, don't we? Yeah, Boston has one. How is... What's this? Oh, yes, we purchased that. Thank you, because I would have forgot. That's nice that we grabbed that milk too. Uh, Portland. You can indeed have a library now, which is going to reduce your demand a little bit. And... What about Bangor? Are you at 50,000? Not yet. It would be nice for Syracuse to grow before we move on. How are you doing? You're not far off, about 2,000 away. And you'll soon be able to have a new industry. Achievement unlocked. Travel company. I have no idea what that is, guys. <laughs> but we've got another achievement. Look at us go. Right, yeah, so uh, we'll keep an eye on Syracuse. Let's, we've got, wow, we got 1.2 million in the bank. Dear, oh dear. Oh, do you know what we could do then? Should we remove some of this interest? 
Uh, it's a four... How long... How much is this going to cost us? We'd have to pay... Uh, ooh, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, penalty. We'd only pay an extra 31000 I'll tell you what, we'll take that. We're back down to 303000 However, now we can take out 2.1 million when we need it. Which, ooh, do you know? <laughs> it might be worth doing shortly. Shall we get London hooked up and start thinking about uh, expanding this main line uh, from Buffalo to Albany? I like the idea of that. Let's get us a train station in London, which is possibly just going to be a terminus of sorts. We don't have a terminus building, do we? No, you can't turn these into a terminus. That would be kind of cool if there's no... If there's no access happening at the end of the station to have a terminus building there. Although we might slide round the back for, uh, yeah, for our wall there. Right, well, where do we want to sit? Sneak round there. It's a tough call because we've also got to go up to Toronto. Although we might be able to stay there. Yeah, we can, can't we? And then we need to get over to Buffalo up that end. Let's put us down there then and facing sort of that direction. I know we're going a little bit out of our way. We do head down a bit that way. However, if we stay on the coast for some reason, it seems to be flat. Which is nice because we have a lovely coastal route then. The thing we've got to bear in mind is getting across the river here. So if we just sort of draw us a, a rough plan... We would like to be in that one, wouldn't we? Yes. And it's not bad, is it? 3% grade is what we've got there. If we can reduce that to 1, as I did there. And then we hug along the... Uh, the What is this? Is it a lake? I would imagine it's the Great Lakes, isn't it? Up this end. There we go. Is that nice? I think that's lovely, isn't it? We've got a nice little bridge across there. We can possibly branch out later on. Uh, down to the south there. 342k to save up. Again, we can we can take that bond out. Do you know? Let's uh let's take that bond out and get a little bit of building done. It's gone down because uh our company value briefly went down, but then that's a, a little less interest for us. Right, let's get you built. We certainly can afford it now. I'd like to go round and possibly upgrade a few industries when we return as well we'll need to um, set up a couple of gridirons one at london welcome london as well one at the other end of buffalo and we'll get as a supply tower hopefully we can squeeze it in here we can as long as we don't put it the side of the lake uh, are we good we just need direction of travel now don't we one heading towards London, one heading towards Buffalo. We're done. Right, we could send us a mixed train. But like I said, I am trying to uh, separate our services now. But not necessarily build us a quad track just yet. I'd like to just get everything hooked up and then go from there. So we're going to set up a an express line. And then we're going to set up a freight line. It's going to make it a little easier to upgrade our trains later. And, uh, oh, I chose freight. <laughs> this is one. This one's the express line. And John Bull gets you running. And we'll set up a second one. We're going to have uh, Buffalo have a warehouse. So this one's going to be freight only, which should work immediately. As uh, we've got beer that end and we've got cloth the other. So we'll choose it. We don't need to wait until full either. So we'll choose as the John Bull and we'll just get you running in the opposite direction. Eventually we will separate the lines. And uh, we'll start to waypoint a little bit. We might be able to do that now to be honest. I, I tell you what guys. Let's get this in. We're going to build us a warehouse down this end. And one of the things we certainly want to think about is wood. We do have wood up this end, so we can deliver it down to Toronto and London. 
Uh, but at the same time, if we bring it in to Ottawa to Buffalo, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's swings and roundabouts, really. Do I want, do, do I? I think maybe Toronto might be a better place for a warehouse for the wood there, right? Yeah. I changed my mind. What we'd like, though, is meat, because we don't have any meat heading the other way. And sugar, because we already have the Albany station has sugar. This is salt, isn't it? Yes, is that salt? Yeah, that's salt. We don't have any sugar up here at all, do we? No, no sugar up there at all. Closest sugar is uh, miles away on the east coast. So we'll get sugar in there. What else would we like to put in here? Meat and sugar. That's a, that's a combination. Beer? Do we need to send beer up that way? Not really. That'd be a kind of a waste of a, a slot, wouldn't it? Milk? Yes, actually. Milk would be kind of nice. Might be worth bringing fruit into the equation from this end. And we'll leave it like that for now. Definitely. So we're going to be taking passively a few more goods from Buffalo because we already um, we already supply a few of those things. We're going to quickly branch away from London and Buffalo, head down to Boston because I, I kept meaning to set up Green Farm, our fruit farm, and uh, hook it into uh, Root Rest here, which we should have. Yeah, we've got our fruit, we've got our vegetables, we've got some milk, beer, grain and corn although the corn's struggling to get to us at the moment but we can address that let's set up a um a situation here where we can go straight through boston into route rest there so uh the first port of call will be boston and we'll drop off route there if necessary and the other option will be to continue through and drop it off and uh, that should make us quite a bit of money so how are we going to do this we could change this to be the, a huge yeah we could change that to be a huge grid iron couldn't we or here's something i haven't really tried what happens if we just bring this across like that at max and do the same is that the right one did i just do it from that one not there <laughs> bad example yeah if we do it from this one that's the end of the gridiron, isn't it? I believe. Yeah, this is the end of the gridiron. So if we take that across two tracks and try and keep the speed up. There we go, maximum. And we do the same there. That should act as a, a, a sort of extra bit of gridiron. But it's signalled from back here and back there. There we go. A bit of extra uh, access for our station. Contour lines. Ooh, that's rough, isn't it? I think we can sit on here quite nicely. We would like to be on this green up here. So what colour is that? It's kind of down here somewhere. We also need to link to our industry down there. Let's try in there and see what the line's going to be like. We'll just make a straight connection for now. We'll head into this bottom platform. We've got quite the cutting, but it's only 57,000. Do we need it double tracked? Uh, I'll tell you what, given our bank balance, why not? That way we can add more and more trains to this setup, can't we? Without uh, worrying about it too much going forward. Uh, we can also branch off here as well, should we need to, to head to the south. Let's get uh, direction of travel sorted. Uh, that one's heading to our route. And that one's heading to Boston. Get us a supply tower about the halfway point should do us. That'll do. And we'll get a... Yeah, given our funds, we'll get us a maintenance depot on you. And we'll set up a new line, which we'll be slowly adding trains onto or duplicating, whichever we decide probably duplicating uh, so they always just keep running let's send you into boston first we're then heading to route rest we're then heading back to boston which will allow us to pick up some extra goodies on the way back 
Then what I'd like to do after Boston is make sure we're empty heading back to our fruit farm here. So maximum zero. That ensures we don't accidentally take stuff that's uh, that needs to go to root rest at this stop because it will happen if you if you don't block off the last the last uh, stop at Boston. We just want to be really dropping off from root rest for that. Right, do we want wait until full on the apples? No. I would like to make use of this little run as well where necessary. And if trains are running empty between Green Train Station and uh, Boston, we can upgrade our fruit place there. Orchard. Is that what it would be? Maybe. They look like apples, don't they? Freight only. Let's get us the John Bull on. And there goes our first train. And you are going to fill up with apples. And I think that'll be a good one to ride, wouldn't it, today? Given all the shenanigans we've got going on the, uh, the north side of Boston there. All right, guys. We're on board our brand new line that's taking uh, a full load of fruit to wherever it's taking it. I'm not sure, to be fair. But we're going to stop by Boston and then we're going to scoot over using uh, an interesting method connecting into the gridiron on the north side of Boston then drifting over uh, to one of our early stations, our, our warehouse that we turned it into. I had fun today guys. We are going to spend all that money we've got up there growing into toronto and hooking up toronto with ottawa and london and uh setting up all the industry requirements for that end and that should give us quite the uh, throughput we also need to check on a few of our industries in our cities and make sure that they're keeping up now with our ever-growing cities across the map i thought we we're going to hit our head on the supply tower thankfully not i've got it just about right it's a bit awkward isn't it we're sort of hanging on the side <laughs> it'll do it'll do guys thank you for watching and until next time take care <laughs>